morning and welcome to Vlogmas day one. It is Monday and how can you start off the week better than by having a leg day. So today I'm going to walk you, guide you through my entire leg workout, the exercises that I'm doing, why I'm doing what I'm doing and some form tips and stuff like that. Let's go because it is not that early in the morning anymore actually. start my leg day with a little bit of a warm-up. I like to do a few mobility exercises to avoid any injuries because I used to warm up on a treadmill and then when I was doing my leg day and I was doing reverse lunges and all of that stuff, I could feel my hips and it was hurting and it was not good and ever since then it is so much better. I only do like, I don't know, a few exercises, maybe like five minutes if even. So we are starting off with my <laughs> least favorite exercise which is hip thrust. If you want to grow our booty, if you want to have nice glutes, we need to do the hip thrust, even though we don't want them. If you have a bench like me that is a little bit too high, you can put a plate underneath, sit on top of it so that you are at the perfect height of the bench. I feel like this one is not too bad, there are benches that are a little bit higher. Something very important before we're starting off is that I could always feel my lower back when doing hip thrust. So I want to show you what really helped me to avoid that. This is where I stop, this is where I squeeze my glutes. I would always do this, arching my back. We only want to squeeze and something very important is that we want to have our core engaged. We want our back straight. There are two variations that you can do. You can either move your entire upper body or what I like to do because I feel like I can feel my glutes better is I do a little bit of a scooping where I only move my lower body. Want to have chin tucked, looking straight forward. So I'm gonna start off with a little bit of a warm-up set and then see how heavy we can go today. The way I structure my workouts is I always start off with the exercise where I want to lift the heaviest, where I want to have my absolute heaviest lift, which for me on my leg day is obviously my hip thrust, but that can also be your squats, your deadlift, leg press, the exercise where you really want to get stronger at for your upper body day. Maybe you want to really get stronger with your pull-ups or you want to be able to do even one pull-up. This is our first exercise, so we really want to push ourselves, we want to go really heavy and challenge ourselves. I have my feet a little bit more than shoulder width apart and then I have my toes pointing a little bit outwards making sure that I'm in a 90 degree angle. Oh my gosh the bench is too high for me I was lying to myself. Squeeze at the top of the movement really squeeze. I can really feel the two month break that I took because I remember back in the day and even before I started doing hip thrust on the Smith machine I was doing I feel like 140 kg and now I'm struggling with my 80. I'm gonna try a little bit more. I, I at least I have to do at least 100 you know like it wasn't that hard. It was hard but not that hard. I feel like I can a little bit just you know a little bit. Next we're doing barbell RDLs. Let's do a little test just with the bar before we're adding any weights. I'm standing shoulder width apart and all I do is I push back my hips until I can feel the stretch, which for me is about here with my knees. I know some people like to go a little bit lower, but I can always feel that my lower back is taking over and then I get a lower back pain. And then I push up with my heels and squeeze my glutes and I don't push here. I don't lose the tension here and then I just go back down again. No shame in using a lifting straps if you feel like the only thing you're focusing on is holding the barbell and you cannot focus on your glutes and on the movement. Lifting straps. Okay, one, two, three. And going back up again. Mm -hmm. 
Today is one of these days where the weight is just extra heavy. <laughs> Next we're doing Bulgarian split squats. I always like to have one single leg exercise in my leg workout and this one is amazing for your glutes. If you want to make this exercise even more glute focused, lean forward. You can see that my upper body is not up straight but I am leaning a little bit forward. You can try pushing your knee a little bit outwards which always gives me even more glute engagement. Very important is to always start off with your weak leg you will notice that one leg will be able to do this exercise super easy peasy and the other one is struggling to its absolute worst <laughs> so we want to start off with the struggling leg my weaker leg is also the leg where i don't have the same mobility so that means i can also not go as deep as with the other leg we are pressing up only with the working leg the leg on the bench is only for balance and we are doing three sets of eight reps each leg. I like to finish all of my leg days with an exercise that is super glute focused to make sure that we're really burning our glutes for the last exercise. And today we're doing a super set. We're doing cable kickbacks and then going straight into glute abductions. Cable kickbacks can be very tricky also with a lower back pain. It's important is to have your back straight and to not overarch it when you're kicking up. You can see that I have my toes a little bit pointed outwards. I just feel like I have a better glute engagement if I do that. And then we're going straight into the side kicks with the same leg, no rest in between. These are so heavy. I have no idea why and these burn so bad. I can, I can only do the lightest weight with this exercise. And then I switch my leg and we're doing the exact same thing on the other leg. We're doing two sets and 10 reps with this exercise, which means 10 reps of the kickbacks, 10 reps of the side kicks, and then we're doing the exact same thing on the other leg. So we do have a lot of reps, but we do not have a lot of weight, and that's why we're only doing two sets. And then by the end of the workout, I hope that your glutes are burning and feel like they're almost falling off because that's how it should be. I'm currently so obsessed with my cinnamon smoothie in the morning. It tastes like a Christmas dessert. It's gotten to the point where I have my smoothie and I literally crave it. In the evening, I'm like, oh my gosh, I cannot wait to wake up and have my smoothie again. It is that good. And I'm not someone who likes movies, okay? For the longest time, I thought I cannot have a smoothie for my breakfast because it will not fill me up. But when I started my first big girl job last year, I loved taking smoothie with me to work because you can just drink them next to doing something. It's so easy. My previous obsession was a coffee protein smoothie, which doesn't sound good. I'm not someone who likes coffee in things like I don't like coffee ice cream or coffee yogurt or stuff like that but this coffee smoothie the same as with this smoothie I was craving it every single day every single day I was looking forward to my coffee smoothie in the morning I know it sounds crazy but if you found a smoothie recipe that works for you you will crave it and I love how I feel afterwards it keeps me full I'm not too full I don't know 
I, I think I became a smoothie gal. I still love my oats. Don't get me wrong, I still love my oats. But I also love my smoothies now. By the way, if you're wondering, I put my Christmas tree up, I think like two weeks ago, and I still didn't have the time to decorate it. So this is also something that I need to do today. <laughs> today was a little bit of a rough start to Vlogmas, not gonna lie, day one, and pretty much everything went wrong. And I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> why, why is this happening? I went to the gym way too late. I had an appointment afterwards. And then I also forgot my camera battery and I was just like but whatever, we got it done. I feel like back in the day, I would have been so discouraged if I wanted to start something like Vlogmas and the first day already didn't go very well. <laughs> I would have been like, oh my gosh, uh, maybe I shouldn't be doing this. But, but today I was like, it is absolutely fine. I am learning from this. I'm sure that the next time I'm not gonna be late in the gym. I also will not forget my camera batteries. Looking at the positive side, I was very efficient with my workout. I was getting it done very quickly. It didn't take as much rest time. It was challenging. <laughs> and usually I waste a lot of time because I do not want to talk to myself in the gym while filming. I'm someone who is huge about gratitude, even though sometimes I forget it, okay? We all have those days where everything is awful and we hate everything or whatever. But I'm very huge about gratitude and I feel like especially during the month of Christmas and everything. If life has been feeling rough for you lately, I'm sure that there are things in your life that you can be grateful for. It is super cold where I live and every day I'm very grateful that I can afford my apartment and that I can heat my apartment, that I have food in the fridge. It's really the simple things that I can go to the gym and work out, put on a cute gym outfit and move my body. It is amazing that I'm healthy. Bowie! <laughs> Always grateful for Bowie and my boyfriend and all the love and support in my life. Just looking at the things that I'm grateful for. Even though I am at a very chaotic phase in my life at the moment, I have no idea what's next and I don't know, there are so many things to worry about, but it doesn't matter right now. I wanted to give you this along on the way if you also have been struggling lately to try and see things from a more positive perspective and trying to be more grateful for everyday things you know thank you for joining me for this early morning leg workout i hope it inspired you and gave you some motivation to start off your day strong to start off your week strong on a monday with a leg day subscribe if you want to continue watching vlogmas i have a lot of fitness content that is still coming give the video a like and other than that thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in my next video Bye!